Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how you can make your iPhone more secure. A lot of people are very concerned as to what's happening with their data or to keep it safe today, and I thought I'd share with you five tips to help you do that better. So the first thing is we need to change your passcode, and that's a pretty obvious one, but a lot of people don't realize that you can make it more than just numbers. So if you go into your settings, go down to your face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode, put in your passcode. I just put this one in for the sake of the video and we go down here and go to change passcode. We'll put in our old one. And then now we have an option down at the bottom that says passcode option. We can make it a custom alphanumeric code, which would be the best one, custom numeric or four digit numeric. We're going to do custom alphanumeric and you could do something like Zolotech. You could add symbols or numbers and the more and more difficult, the better. So we've got that one set. We'll wait for it just a moment. Now that we have our passcode changed, maybe we want to lock our phone if someone's trying to gain access and we want to make sure that they cannot get into the phone immediately using our face ID or our thumbprint or fingerprint. We can lock it easily on an iPhone 10 or previous version. Just hold the power button on everything other than an iPhone 10 on an iPhone 10, hold power and volume up until you get to this screen. Once you do, just hit cancel and now you're required to put in your passcode before it will unlock. That way no one can use your thumbprint to unlock it. They need to know that passcode to get in. Now the next thing to make sure your phone is secure is to make sure that you have find my iPhone turned on and you access that by going to your settings again, going to your account here and under iCloud, if you scroll down, make sure that find my iPhone is on and also make sure send last location is on. So what these will allow you to do is find it on iCloud.com. You can go and view your phone, see exactly where it is or any of your Apple devices. And also if this is losing power or going out of signal, it will send its last location before it dies or before it has no signal left and it lets you know where it last was. The next thing I would consider is to check different applications that are using your phone's data. For example, if you scroll down, go to privacy, and then go to location services. And under this, you'll see all the different applications that are requesting your location service. So take Facebook, for example, I have it set to never, I don't want Facebook to ever be able to access my phone's location. So I have it set to never. That's the same for Instagram, which is also owned by Facebook, and things such as maybe Twitter, for example, I don't have that accessing my location. This can be set to whatever you would like. Now, the next thing in privacy is microphone. The same thing goes here. Messenger and Facebook page can never access my microphone. Neither can any of the others that are turned off. I don't need them ever to be able to use my microphone on the phone. And that goes for other applications that I deem not necessary for it to use the microphone. So I have all of those turned off. So check those application by application. You can also scroll down in settings to find things like Facebook and revoke them here. Just check all of those that you may not want to access any of your information. The last tip I have for you is to turn on two factor authentication. That puts an extra layer of protection on top of the password you already have. So maybe you're logging into iCloud.com to find your phone. It will prompt you and send you a text message or send you through a backup code the information that you need to log in. Only you can get in. Now you find that by going into settings, tapping on your name, then you're going to tap on password and security. Under password and security, once you have two-factor authentication turned on, you'll list the phone number you want it to authenticate with and also put get verification code if you don't have the phone number access and you also want to get some recovery keys to make sure that you can log in if you don't have access to a device that's using it. So those are tips to help you lock down and secure your phone. Hopefully that helps you. And if you have any others, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.